steel core ones. See how these will hold up. But uh, hopefully this, uh, hopefully I don't lose too much bottom end with this dominator. Because <coughs> I'm also using an HVC spacer too. So uh, two inch spacer. That's the, just sitting up there, hanging up there. Kid moved it. That's what doesn't get that way. And I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put some more RTV around the end of the jackets there. And uh, I'm gonna put the manifold here in a couple minutes. You know, let this uh, tack up a little bit. You know, the, the, uh, the, this stuff. All right. All right, cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. One of the cool things about a single plane manifold is I can actually, I can actually see the ports lined up to make sure it's going on the head correctly. Whereas I couldn't do that with a dual plane, so I don't know if you can see that in there. But I can see it go right into the head, so I can see that my gasket was not aligned correctly. So I had to move it around a little bit so I don't see any gasket anywhere without any sort of restriction. So that's actually pretty cool. I forgot about that single plane. Can't do that with a dual plane. It's kind of hidden away, so. All right, cool. All right, so now that I got this uh, thing kind of lined up correctly, I mean, I looked at my flashlight, looked down all the ports. Uh, I wasn't, didn't have any gas that's going out. My ports seem to be aligned as good as they're gonna be, you know? Um, I'm gonna go down and use my torque wrench and I'm just gonna pop it down, go five and then 10 and then 15 and 20 and, but do that in steps, you know I mean? The uh, torque sequence. You know, so, and, uh, all right, so, yeah, I'm going to torque this bad boy down. All right, guys, so, got this thing torqued down, 18 foot-pounds. They said anywhere from about 18 to 20, multiple different sites for aluminum heads, so, um, they look like they're fairly in place, and, uh, like I said, this is a single-plane manifold, and I was able to look at the ports. I don't know if you can see that with the light, but I'm trying to get that in there where you can actually see that it's, it, there's no gasket showing it's no weird head movements so it's totally in there so i'm going to install one of these hv uh, c spacers so it's like an aerodynamic for it's supposed to like uh, i guess make it a little bit more aerodynamic ease the transition i guess the flow but uh, actually the other way let's see i might have some height issues i think maybe i gotta check with my hood but all right, cool. I can't get this to go, then I'll have to go, wow, shit, that's all open. The aluminum's showing. Because this was designed for, it could do like a spread bore, I guess, and a, this thing. I don't remember which, which, I guess there's, how much? I guess this was kind of designed for a, uh, I don't know, maybe I should just use a single open spacer. I have a couple of those, but, all right, cool. Alright guys, almost ready to go. I had to modify this bracket and kind of put that little, or fabricate a little support bracket for this thing because the, the mounting pattern was a little bit different for this. So, um, do a few things here, but. Yeah.